this is David Everest, and I'm uh, here to talk about uh, mining rights and the mining grant of 1872, 1870, and 1866. In 1866, they made the hard rock claim that was for hard rocks. 1870, they had had the mining law for the valuable mineral deposits. Uh, in 1870, they added placer. In 1872, they added a whole category of of valuable mineral deposits, and then uh, they left it open for other minerals they didn't know about that would be identified later. And then <clears throat> Congress, through the years, has made it better uh, by adding it in on national security. All right, so what we're talking about here is we have a grant without a trustee. So what I like is, is I've been invited by a Department of Interior uh, inspector general to file uh, get legal advice and file a takings they believe i have a takings case and that that means you go to dc court for the amount of money this is going to be um it, for the suit because all i can sue for is money and the violation of my uh of my civil rights of my property rights and of my person with uh unlawful detainer but anyways, that's another story for another day. What we're talking about here is, is I need we the people, all the people, to stand up for property rights. And I would like them to do a favor for me. I would like them to contact the, uh, the Legal Defense Fund and, and give them my contact. Give me as a contact. And that I would like uh, to discuss my takings case that I got against the, uh, the U.S. Forest Service and the BLM. But mainly, I want them to help me just get the trustee appointed in an audit of accountability. If they can get the trustee, help me legally sue under the takings because they've taken my trustee. The trustee is who defends this case. And all minors, and all property rights, wherever a trustee is. So what I would ask the people to do is if you want private property rights and you don't want the government to take over everything... You'll come and help me defend me by helping uh, doing a campaign for uh, getting the uh, the Pacific Legal Defense Fund any, or any other legal uh, entity that uh, defends property rights and ask them, have them come together and help me. I've pretty much proven my case that there is no trustee and that they, this trust requires one. And the first duty of a trustee is to defend the grantee and the grant and uh i i have a takings case and i have a takings case of my defense which is the trustee i demand that i get a trustee and if the pacific, pacific legal foundation can help get me uh my uh that uh they'll get paid for it because they'll have to pay the legal fees uh in the takings case so i wouldn't mind the pacific legal foundation in helping prove my takings case by getting a trustee by getting a trustee appointed out of accountability and then the, and then a, a determination of how much my damages are because see on a placer claim u.s supreme court has said in the past uh you can't you can't uh you, I can't say how much it's worth because it's uncalculable. It, it's to be determined by the courts and, on the damages, and they have they have a method for that. Uh, uh, so mine my damages is uh, the one of this that needs to be filed is to be determined by the court on my damages for the violations of my rights. Oh, <clears throat> I did thirty days in jail. That'll mean uh, unlawful detainer. And so uh, that's the form of kidnapping. Anyway, so we'll have a good day if I could get the Pacific Legal Foundation to help me. So this is my, to put out over my network. Please come and help me get Pacific Legal Foundation to help me prove my takings case. Uh, because they have, they, they're lawyers, I'm not. I'm just a minor at law. And, and I'll explain that some other day. But uh, I like their help in getting my takings case and getting a determination of my damages. Have a nice day.